Hello, and welcome to another video here at University Prep. My name is Andres Petancourt, and today's video is covering um, preterite tense. It's one of two past tense forms in Spanish, and so specifically this video is regular AR verbs in the preterite tense. Okay, so number one, what is the preterite tense? Okay, the preterite tense, yes, it's a form of the past tense, and it's used to describe completed actions in the past or actions that lasted a specific amount of time in the past and are now completed, okay? So, if you're talking about the past and you know that you have a start time and a stop time, when the activity started and when it finished, that's the past tense. A few examples. Yesterday, Josefina worked at the restaurant. When did it start? It started yesterday. It finished yesterday. Okay? Ayer, Josefina trabajó en el restaurante. I washed the clothes. Now, this is a completed action, correct? I washed. It's, I mean, it's, it's not ongoing in the past. It is done. Okay? Yo lavé la ropa. Okay? And remember that just with accents... You have to emphasize that vowel as opposed to the other vowels in the word. The accent is where the stress of the word is. And our third example. The students arrived at 8. Los alumnos llegaron a las 8. Alright, so our three verbs. Trabajo, lave, and llegaron. What does specific mean? What does completed mean? Last night, I completed my homework. Well, that's specific. I, you know when I did it. I did it last night. Where I used to complete my homework. That's not so specific. It's not, it's not, there's not a start and a stop time, okay? It is ongoing in the past. When did you used to complete your homework? Was that like last week you used to do your homework? Or was that, you know, when you were younger? And in that case, when were you younger? Are we defining young as 5 to 10 years old, or 10 to 15, or 15 to 20, or maybe your college years, 18 to 20, you know? Specific, last night, or specific. When I was 10, I played soccer. At 8 years old, I completed my, you know, first badge with the eagle uh boy scouts specific and then completed um no excuse me i will finish the project tomorrow well, that's the future tense right that is not the preterite the preterite again is the past i finished the project period you know if you wanted to be more specific finish the project last night okay so we have endings um, just like, just like in the present tense, you know, we have, for AR verbs in the present tense, we have o, as, a, amos, an. All right, well, in the preterite, we have a new set of endings. We're going to use the same verbs, however, we're in a new set of endings. E, aste, o, amos, aron. E, aste, o, amos, aron. And I would like to... <laughs> I would like to invite you, if you please go and watch the present tense AR verb conjugation video again, just to refresh, um, to refresh the difference between regular verb or the present tense and now the preterite. Okay, yo hablé, tú hablaste, él habló, ella habló, usted habló, nosotros hablamos. Ellos hablaron. Um, I want to I want to bring to mind a few patterns with just across the tenses. Um, your tu form is going to have an s in it. Tu hablas in the present tense, right? Tu hablas. When the preterite still has that s. Aste. Tu hablaste. The nosotros form. It's the exact same. Nosotros hablamos is we talk or Nosotros um, nos hablamos yesterday. We talked to each other. It's the exact same word. And then, aron, ellos hablaron, they talked. 
they is going to finish with an N. Okay, ellos hablan as they talk. Ellos hablaron, they talked. And then here we see these these verbs translated. Um, hablar to talk. Uh, I talked. You talked. She talked. We talked. They talked. All right. My name is Andres Petancourt. I'm so happy that you guys are watching these videos. Um, please, if you would like any other video to be produced, let us know. And here at iUniversity Prep, we're, we are happy to make any kind of tutorial video that you need. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.